Hi, this is Kathleen Horowick speaking from my home in Naples, Florida. I am currently president of CIFA, Creative Floral Arrangers of the Americas, North and South America. I am doing a series of videos to, to keep me occupied during this pandemic and also perhaps to share with you some of the knowledge I've picked up along the way. Uh, today I'm going to look at parallel designs, which defined by NGC is a design consisting of three or more groupings of plant material and optional components with a strong parallel placement in a single container and or base. Claim is that you can use multiple containers if combined to appear as one unit. So what I have here is a metal another one to match and what I have done is to actually combine them so to make them appear as one. That would have been a possibility today, but I am just going to use the one container that I have filled with Black Oasis. I'll show you that in a moment. The parallel direction may be vertical, horizontal, or diagonal within the allotted space. The overall effect must appear parallel and the groupings need not be equidistant from one another. And you can use a connective at the base. I'm not going to do that because today I have used the Black Oasis, which CIFA will be selling at their seminar in 2022. Here is a piece of the Black Oasis. It works very, very similarly to the Green Oasis. Lay it in the water and let it, let it soak up. Don't push it down, don't put water on top because then you're gonna find a dry spot in the center. Just lay it in and let it fall naturally and as soon as it's completely wet, it has been hydrated as much as it can be. So that's what I have used in here, and I have been rather cautious to make it uh, appear as if this is one flat black uh, surface that we're working in. I hope I've achieved that. So what I'm going to use, I did buy some flowers this weekend, and I also am using my Sansevieria from the garden. And I thought we would start with Sansevieria. Let me see, do I want it? I want it parallel, but I don't want it boring. So I'm going to alter the size of the components. And with this black oasis, you really only have one shot at putting it in. So I'm going to be a little careful, hopefully. Okay, I've got that, I've got this, and I need a third. So I'm picking material that is sort of interesting, uh, little curves, little twists that nature has put in. So I now have three components that are parallel to one another. This one is leaning a little. Can I possibly straighten him out? I could by getting him in a little further. Then my main interest is going to be these lovely orange lilies. And I'm taking the extraneous leaves off. As I am um, trimming here, I think editing is important when you're handling these kinds of flowers. So I'm going to, let's see how tall we want that. Pretty tall. Let's see, we want that 
schedule. one in. I've got other components here, but I'm not sure how many I want to use because this is rather a small container. And again, I have another beautiful, beautiful lily. And you might say, oh, you're ruining it. And perhaps I am to some, but I, it's too big. I just can't use all of that. So what I might do is take this this one and feature it. I think I'm going to. And I'm going to rid us of this lovely part. I'll use it somewhere else. And let's see, this one is going in another direction, so let me get rid of him. And I'm going to use this one kind of low. So, let's do this. And I'm giving it a fresh cut, and I'm giving it a cut at a diagonal so that when I do put it in, it's going to soak up as much water as possible. And this always try again to keep my spaces because that's what's so important here. Okay, and then I need, what do I need? Yes, I do, a third one here. And the colors are so beautiful because we have opposites on the color wheel, which are always give a beautiful contrast, that open space. I've seen this parallel design used in some very clever ways. Uh, one woman wanted to interpret a hurricane with a parallel design, and what she did which I thought was very clever, was to have this on a diagonal, the parallels on a diagonal, which would be indicative of the sweeping wind that came through during the hurricane and changed the angle. So there, I believe, is a parallel design. I had no need to put in filler here because it's a flat surface, it's black, um, I think it's rather attractive. So we have all the components that we need. I'm going to turn it one more time and just see if we are on target. It looks okay, and as I say, it's going to change in an hour. The lilies will open and give a completely different look. There's one other thing I'd like to point out, and that is when we are working with these lilies and these stamens up here, they are a killer for a bride's dress. So when I work with a wedding, I take them out because that's the last thing you want to see on a bride's dress is that black powder. If you do get it on your clothing, I'll give you a hint. That hint is use scotch tape to remove it gently. All you do is take the scotch tape and pat, and it will disappear. There's another thing I'd like to point out to you. I'm going to show you the back, too. The back is finished. There are pieces of the plant material in the back. And I always finish the back of my designs because I don't care what they say. If they say it's going to be up against a wall, nobody will ever see the back. Don't count on it. <laughs> I've come in and they said, oh, I'm sorry, there's an electrical something there that we can't cover, so your design is going to be in the middle of the floor. So what you do is you finish the back.